Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be looking at the Tournament of Champions Round 2 matchups and see who got eliminated from Round 1. I'm just going to go over my experience in Tournament of Champions and basically what I've read from other people. So obviously this is the Tournament of Champions bracket as it has been updated by myself based on information gathered on the forums in terms of which regions won and which regions did not. This is not an official update. When it comes out from Scopely it'll be official and you'll be able to sit on the forums. It's obviously maybe got some numbers to crunch it could come down to the wire on some of these regions not 100 certain and potentially some of these regions could get eliminated based on some things that they did in tournament of champions if there was maybe a cheating faction their scores could be removed or something along those lines hopefully there's no issues like that that would be kind of sucky but we're gonna go through it basically we had whitfield coming out on top in theirs on group b Dooley, Kowata, and forsyth i'm probably pronouncing some of these names wrong i do apologize and then in group a we have barrow decator polk and chambers and group c we had clark walker spaulding and lee and then group d we had habersham jasper carol and blount or blount or blunt but we had these 16 factions progress and i think most people's from at least what i'm reading is the experience of toc in a six versus six one versus one effectively crw was not good the faction that actually won war of champions was in bell and they could not match very well in terms of the amount of factions that were in their region versus the factions in whitfield they had twice as many factions from what i understand and they were having hour plus q times in a 24 hour war they were undefeated and came in sixth place and that is pretty bad if you've not got even regions the region with the lower amount of factions could possibly come out on top based on matchups if you cannot match these factions based on i'm not sure how the matchups work it could be based on strength it could be based on you know rep there's a lot of different things you know ideas of how matchups work and if you can't match up as the top faction in one region you could potentially not have your strongest faction actually facing the opposite region so you're you're not going to be getting those big points basically we also had the issue where regions would create mini factions in their enemies region and then create a mini faction in their own region and then just basically war against those mini factions and just try and build up as much of a score as possible in chambers versus rockdale where i was obviously playing and you saw my live stream this happened and a faction from rockdale nearly scored a million points in that war which a big issue there is they outscored people within their own region who had actually got good teams you know i saw teams of this doomhammer team had mias l's and, and negans so it's kind of weird obviously they're getting nearly a million points which is a lot of points considering most regions maybe scored 10 to 15 million points max there were obviously other less shady like regional tactics in time terms of trying to hold factions if they're a strong faction slow building you know slow repairing and then coining if you need to and this is just to hold factions back it's lame maybe tactics but that is kind of how it goes you're using the game as it should be played just in maybe a little bit of a lame way just to try and slow down certain factions that is regional tactics if you're coming up against certain factions or maybe trying to queue at a certain time let's say it's late on in the tournament and you don't want the best faction to match against lower factions you could potentially have it so that the top faction only queues against the top faction just for that moment and then when they're matched you can have other factions queue up i saw some comments about this i did also see some comments where the top faction was telling the rest of the region just to stop warring which was kind of insane i mean theoretically you could do something really really weird which is imagine your region wins the first war and then your entire region just decides not to war anymore you would win that at that point you progress to the next round now a lot of people would want to keep warring because they want to get milestones and stuff but effectively that would work toc just doesn't seem to be fully there i think it's got potential but i think it was being built up as like war of champions 2.0 it's nothing like war of champions it's not about factions it's about regions obviously so it should have been tournament of regions as the name and it would have given it away a bit better i think a lot of people feel duped into transferring into the, the tournament itself it, i think most people would have probably transferred anyway but they would have had a better idea of what they were up against they could have planned better in terms of what regions to move to if they wanted to actually get a better chance of progression especially as the top factions you wouldn't mind going to a smaller region at that point you could carry your region sort of thing it's weird but that's the way it goes there were other obviously other tactical things that were done in terms of spreading power across the top factions i saw that quite a lot it was done in my region where the top faction sort of loaned out hitters to the other factions just so that there was a bit more of a spreading power this was actually to combat six versus six because if you've got a top faction with 30 strong players in it 
and they all want to queue at like regular times, the issue you've got is they can't queue because it's six on six. So spreading that power around isn't just about getting power into other factions and hitting points. It's also so that individually you can perform better and actually get something out of it as well. So a lot of downsides and unfortunately this is only round one and we've got you know round two, round three and the final still to go. So potentially quite a few weeks left of this. The next TOC round is in two weeks, which is like I said, the matchups are gonna be Whitfield against Dooley, Kaweta against Forsyth, Barrow against Decatur, Polk against Chambers, Clark against Walker, Spalding against Lee, Habersham against Jasper, and then Carroll against Blount. And then the winners of these would go on to the next round, round three, and then face off against, obviously, the, the winners of the opposite sort of side of the bracket, as you can see, you know. Whitfield and Dooley, the winner of that, would play the winner of Kawata and Forsyth and so on and so forth. So I hope this makes sense. It is a bit of a shame how it's all played out. It had potential, but I just I don't think there wasn't much thought gone into how things can go wrong. And it's just, again, in how things can go wrong. And I think if there was a little bit more communication with players, players who have been playing this game for a very long time could probably point out issues that have faced. I know there's maybe some new people at Scopely, but a lot of these players have been playing for four years. Everyone knows that 1v1 CRW never worked. It didn't work the first time. The very first time it ever got implemented, it had issues. And when I want to say it was Maggie with the bonus HP was the prize in that. And... There were top factions who didn't come first based on the fact that it was that 1v1 CRW and the matchups just didn't work properly. And there are still right now, even though it's bonus HP Mega who's in a five star token wheel right now, there's still people really salty about that particular situation, even though it was that long ago. Do tell me what you thought about Tournament of Champions. If you watched my stream, if you actually took part in it yourself, do tell me what your region you're in and who you've got in your next matchup and what you think of how Tournament of Champions is going to progress. But that's the end of my video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.